CMP Featured Research. This is your Diet Mental Health Break number 34, brought to you by the Center for Nutritional Psychology. Two minutes to learn and be good to yourself. Is chronic insomnia associated with ultra-processed food consumption? Let's find out. We have all experienced situations when we have trouble getting good sleep. This can happen when we are excited, when something troubles us, when our sleeping arrangements are uncomfortable and under many other circumstances. However, some people have constant difficulties with getting good sleep. When these troubles persist, they occur at least three nights per week for three months or more called chronic insomnia. Chronic insomnia can develop as a result of stress, anxiety, depression, chronic pain, and many other factors. In time, it can lead to a host of psychological and health problems. Study author Pauline Duquesne and her colleagues wanted to explore whether consumption of ultra-processed food might be linked to chronic insomnia. Ultra-processed foods are formulations made mostly or entirely from derived substances and various additives with few intact unprocessed or minimally processed food components. Studies link excessive consumption of these foods to many adverse health outcomes. Researchers analyzed data from the Nutrinet Sante study on chronic insomnia and dietary habits in this study. Nutrinet Sante is a large ongoing study in France that examines links between dietary habits, lifestyle, and demographic factors. This analysis was based on data from 38,570 participants. Results show that 19% of participants suffered from chronic insomnia. On average, ultra-processed foods constituted 16% of food participants consumed. However, this tended to be somewhat higher among individuals with chronic insomnia. A 10% increase in the amount of ultra-processed food consumed corresponded to 9% higher odds of having chronic insomnia among men and 5% higher odds among women. Although the increased risk reported in this study is only slight, this finding adds to the growing body of evidence associating the consumption of ultra-processed foods with adverse health outcomes. Our thanks to Pauline Duquesne and her colleagues for conducting this informative analysis. This diet mental health break is brought to you by the Center for Nutritional Psychology, consolidating the world's research one study at a time.